What's going on guys, it's Super GT here and today I'm bringing you a race build for the BMW 1 series. Uh, a few people have asked me for a race build for this car, they did see me using it in my manual clutch guide. So today I'm going to bring that to you. So I'm just going to go through the setup uh, first. Well actually very f uh, first I'm going to tell you, it's a very good all round car. I've used it online a few times and it is really good. Um, it's a good all rounder and if you do use this car you probably will be fighting up the front of the uh, front of the pack it is a really good car so let's go to the upgrade section custom upgrade now for engine um the only engine upgrade we put is flywheel and i put a race one in but the reason we don't put many engine upgrades in is because we're going to do the conversion uh, engine swap put in the 5.2 liter v10 which is the second option of the three. Normally I put in, um, when I'm doing tuning, I normally put in the conversions first and then do all, the, all of these ones here. So go ahead and do the conversion first. Engine swap, 5.2 5, uh, 5 litre V10. Drivetrain swap, I put in all-wheel drive. That has many benefits in this game. And aspiration, I leave... I leave that so there's no need to change that so now go ahead and change your engine um, flywheel to race and then go to platform and handling I put in race brakes I really rate brake quite highly I don't think many people do but I think having good brakes is one of the important factors for me anyway uh, so yeah put in race brakes um, springs and dampers put in the race version for front and rear anti-roll bars uh, put in the race versions uh, for chassis reinforcement put in race and for weight reduction I just put in street um, the, the gains are too big if you put in race or sport uh, and you'll take you into S2 class so yeah this is an S1 class build by the way which is quite suitable for this car um, okay so that's platform and engine sorted now go to drivetrain clutch you can put in a race one but that's that's about it for drivetrain uh, tires and rims tire compound race tire compound that is so important that is one of the most important upgrades you will put on any race car is the tires um, if you can't transmit all that power into the ground then you're not gonna have a good race car so put in those race tires that really does help uh, front tire width I just put on the 265 um, and rear tire width I put on the 315 now the reason why you want to do that is um, well y your front tire width doesn't ever really have to be bigger than your rear tire width um, typically this car is obviously four wheel drive but most of these cars are rear wheel drive um, and on rear wheel drive cars especially you want um, big rear wheels so you can put your power down but I would even uh, keep that even for or for four wheel drive cars like this I would still have a bigger rear wheels if you have to but never put front uh, wheels bigger than the rear or tires should I say never put front tires uh, bigger than the rear but the other way around is okay uh, rim style I went for the specialized revenge those look pretty nice and um, front rim size rear rim size don't have to touch that now on to aero and appearance front ring uh, front bumper should I say not not wing front bumper race I put in uh, rear wing I put in the race version that does look pretty nice and rear bumper I don't change it because you can see here it improves your speed but it takes away from all the other factors so there's no point in that I don't think you need much more speed. Um, 7.3 is high enough. The one weakness of this car is its top speed, but you don't really need it. Um, this isn't a drag racing build or a speed build, it's a racing build. So you need an all round car. So that's, that is the setup uh, for you, that, or the tuning upgrades that you need. So once you've done all of those, it should be S1900, which is the top of the class. And you have yourself a very good car here. 
So very quickly, the paint job is one of the suggested paint jobs. It came out quite quickly for me. I really like this one, it's really nice. So I don't know who's made this, but obviously done a very good job. Um, now, I experimented with the tuning setup of this car. Um, I found that one weakness, if anything, is that it's high speed cornering isn't that great. So when you go around high speed corners, like very fast corners, it it is very stable, but it doesn't turn as well as it could. So I, to improve this slightly, I changed the alignment in the tuning setup. I put minus one camber, a negative camber by one degrees front and rear, and on toe I put um toe toe out. Yeah, put toe out by one degrees, uh, front and rear. This I found um, improved the cornering slightly. It makes the car a bit more unstable, but the car was so stable anyway that it didn't really make too much of a difference. So, yeah, so very quickly, the, the strengths of this car are its stability, it's extremely stable around the corners, um, it's good off-road too. That, so stability extends to its off-road ability. Um, you can go off the grass, onto the grass, off the road, onto the grass, should I say. And you don't have to worry about it, the car sliding too much because it is so stable. Um, the acceleration is also another strength. Um, it has a good launch and has very good acceleration. Acceleration is, is also helped by its stability. So remember that if a car is stable around a corner, it means you can put down the throttle the driver can just be a bit more relaxed about putting down that throttle, not having to worry about the car sliding out because it is stable. So the acceleration is also very good in this car. And finally the brakes I rate very highly, they're the highest rated factor in this car, they're 9.6 I believe, which is very high and very good. Now weakness, weaknesses if anything I would say are the high speed cornering, um, so going around very fast corners it has stability but it doesn't turn so well so just be be a bit careful around very fast corners if you're using this car and the top speed also is a weakness it doesn't have the highest top speed it does eventually get to quite a higher top speed but it just takes so long to get there but in online races or even single player races there aren't many really long straights that you're going to need a very big top speed so that that isn't too much of a worry really um, so yeah I'm just gonna uh, carry on with this online race I hope you've enjoyed it guys um, this gameplay I'll be bringing more race builds because some people have asked me for drift builds but I'm not really a drifter so I don't have much expertise in that field um, I'm more of a racer so I can bring you race builds that's fine um, so if you do if you do want me to make a race build for you, then just request one in the comment section. I'm always interested to see what people want. Um, so if this does help you guys, give me a uh, give me a like. I always appreciate a like, just to show appreciation for the effort I put in for these videos. And subscribe if you want to see more um, racing game content. So that's it from me for today. I do hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching.